Everybody, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, we're going to take a look at creating um, custom reports in Dremel Business Center. Um, it's been around a while um, using their their kind of their their tool via Microsoft Word. Um, this kind of dates back to um, the TGO days where you could pretty much custom make any uh, report that you wanted and it had been asked for and asked for and, and they added in the TBC and me personally, I, I looked at it a couple times. Um, it always seemed a little daunting to me. Uh, I never really took the time to dive into it and figure it out. Um, but I tinkered with it a little bit and it's actually pretty cool. So I thought I'd make a good video to, uh, to share with you guys and to show you how easy it is to um, just create some custom reports, whether it's something completely from scratch um, that you wanna make you know, right out of the box, or maybe it's just something you want to do where um, you have an existing report that works well, but you just want to maybe change the colors around, make it pop a little bit more, maybe brand it, put your logo on it, something like that. So um, just thought I would share this with you and let you guys kind of see what the process looks like and um, just kind of see what you guys want to do with it. So let's dive in and see what it looks like. All right, so to begin in TBC, I'm not gonna do like a super deep dive. I just wanna make this kind of a, a quick video and uh, let you explore a little bit. Uh, but what I'm talking about is up on the top on the, uh, the quick access toolbar here, you have your little reports button. And when you pick on that, you know, you have your kind of your pre-defined reports and you can go into more reports and there's some additional ones there. And those are all kind of, um, predefined and you really can't change them or, or do much with them. There are some options um, where you can change a couple of things, um, you know, add or remove things from, from the from the header or the footer, but for the most part, it's pretty limited and there's not a whole lot you can do. Um, you know, there's also the job report generator. Um, we can talk about that maybe another video. We, we may have in the past, I'll have to look, but you know, this uses the, the style sheets um, and you can run these style sheets either, you know, in TBC or in Trimble Access. Um, and basically, um, you, can, you can run them either way, but again, those are provided. They're kind of predefined. The cool thing about the style sheets is that, um, you know, you can, you can have Trimble customize them. If you know some XML coding, you can customize them yourself. It's, it's kind of up to you what you want to do there. But what I'm more interested in is these two options right here. Um, where we have create custom report and edit custom report. So what those two options will do is basically um, use Microsoft Word. It'll load, it'll load like a template um, into Microsoft Word. Um, you can use some predetermined templates or predefined templates um, that, that Trimble provides and you can customize them there. Um, or what I'm going to show you is you can actually just make your own templates if you wish and then kind of build it. And then once you load it into the, the, the editor, so to speak, it will kind of synchronize with, with access and pull in basically a database um, of information that you can add to the report, whether it's a point name, a code, you know, project information. Um, it's pretty comprehensive. The only thing I see so far that I really don't like is um, if you're doing like a points list, it's pretty limited on information. I'd like to see, you know, like precisions and things added in there, but that can also, um, you know, be done with a, with a custom export, which we can, we can look at in another video, but still pretty cool. So um, what I'm gonna show you is how um, I went through and I just basically created some of my own templates and um, branded them and use them as then, um, a template file, I'll show you where to store them and then how you can build a report off of those. So first thing would be um, if we look in our in our file explorer, if you go to your C drive, um, you go to program data, Trimble and report templates, you'll see all of these um, document files in here. And these are all um, report templates that you can kind of build off of that's, um, that's provided by Trimble Business Center already. So as an example, um, 
couple of the easy ones maybe to start with are gonna be just more of like a points list. So there's a points list report. So this will look basically like what your point list looks like when you run it natively out of, out of TBC. And there's another one that's actually pretty cool called a point card report. Um, and this one I actually kind of use for a little inspiration, so to speak, to make, to make some uh, reports on, on my end. But basically, um, if you want to make something on your own, you can easily do it by just opening up Word. So I'm just going to open up Word here. And in Word, you can, you know, put in a header. So if I wanted to insert, let's go to a picture here. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, where am I, blog here. Maybe I want to throw in our geospatial logo and then we'll shrink it down, move it around, and now I have a header. Now, basically what I like to do in here is, is I use the, I don't know, maybe there's a better way to do this, but I like to use the tables. So it's kind of like using, um, it's kind of like using a spreadsheet. So as an example, if I go to insert and then go to table, I might do like a six by five, and then I might put in like name, oops, date, uh, company and so on. And then maybe um, I'll leave a, a row blank so I can populate things, you know, down, down below. And then here, maybe if it's a list, I'd be like point ID, North, East, elevation, so on. And then leave another row to populate the information. So I can kind of build this and merge cells and do it however you want. I don't know, there may be a better way to do it, but I found just using the, um, the tables and, and treating it kind of like a spreadsheet uh, works really well. So once I do that, basically you just save it and give it a name, keep it as a document file, and then you can just put it in this reports template folder and then you have access to it. So you can see I have a couple um, um, examples here. So one I made would be like a photogrammetry um, target report. So this would be for you know, your targets or your control points um, if you're doing a drone survey. So you see I have our unmanned logo here put a nice title on it, point ID, nice nice and big. Um, so these are the, you see when I pick on it, you get like this little box here, this little box here. These are the fields that we that we add in in the editor and I'll show you that next on how we do that. Um, but basically I built this to, um, using the table to put all the information I want in here and then I kind of grayed out the stuff that's maybe not as important and then made a little bit, um, made, made the stuff that I want to see stand out a little bit more. And then down on the bottom, through some uh, um, picture um, things in here for media files and project name and, and so on. So um, I built this by hand, just saved it into TBC. These boxes here weren't part of this. This is just how it was was saved. So basically, if you, if you take all these fields out here and have just the, the blank boxes and the headers, that's basically what I built. So what that looks like is if I'm in, in Business Center, I have just a little project open here, and I'm just gonna look at these four control points here because they have media files um, tied to them. So as an example, once that's in there, if I hit my report pull down, now I can hit create a custom report or I can edit um, an existing one. So I've created my, um, my template, but now I need to um, apply that template to, um, to fill in the details, so to speak. So this was the part that I always kind of would get to and and give up on because when I first opened it up, I was using a kind of a pre-canned um, uh, layout and I saw all these things on the side and I didn't know how things fit in and what went where and I just like, I don't have time to look at this, but um, it's really pretty easy. So um, we go into create a custom report. First thing we wanna do is choose our source data. Um, the source data, once you choose it, you're stuck with it for that report. So you can't switch in between. Um, you know, I can't grab something from custom takeoff and then go into my earthwork. It's just, you, you pick it and that's what you have to work with. So as an example, uh, what we'll do here is we'll look at point list and this is just kind of your point information. And then you pick your layout file. So these are the Word documents that we saved into that report templates folder. So if I choose uh, my photogrammetry target report and hit open, and now I can hit edit layout. And what it'll do is it'll open it up again in Word, 
But what you'll see this time is on the side, I have all this layout data. So here's that same um, report that we looked at, but now this is where I can drag and drop all of my information. So if I went here and I, I'm just gonna delete these out just to kind of show you what this looks like. But like I said earlier, my template was all of this stuff just kind of blank. So now I wanna, I wanna drop this stuff in my report I would just find, okay, I'm in my, my grid coordinates here and I would grab my northing and I would basically just drag and drop it in the box where I want it to go. So I want my easting, I want my elevation, and then I want my feature code. Now that it's in there, the data is there, but I can still now drag across here and I can dictate, you know, what color I want it to be, what size I want it to be, you know, a bold or italic. So I can edit anything in here um, per Microsoft Word. And I can make it look however I want, but the data is still here. And this is the this is the connector that's going to pull that information from um, TBC to give you um, to give you what we're looking for. So when you're done, I close that window. You would just hit OK. Let me just go back in and show you that one more time. Don't save. I shouldn't have closed that window. But when we hit Edit Layout, let's get back in here. When you're done uh, dragging and dropping, you hit you hit okay down on the bottom. The other thing I noticed too is, is when you're looking at your, you know, your points, um, you have the option if you hit, if you, if you are on your points um, information, you hit properties, you can see I don't have anything checked here. Um, what'll happen by default if none of this stuff is checked is every point will get its own page. And that's kind of what I want here. I want a single page for each point. But as an example, if I go back here and I choose my grid point list, okay, and I hit open, I'm going to look at this layout file here. This is another one that I just kind of put together quickly. This is I want just to be a running tabulation of, of my points. So what I need to do here is I'm actually just going to highlight this, this uh, column or this row here. And if I hit property, you can see I have increased rows for a new record. So what that means is if I select more than one point, it's just going to keep building that table um, down on one sheet instead of if I pick 500 points, I'm not going to get 500 pages in my document. So there's some there's some little settings in there um, you have to tinker with a little bit. But again, this is meant just to be very basic. And now once that's created, um, I can give it a name and a description and I, and I can save it. I also have the ability to go in and hit edit and I can choose any one of my custom reports. So my survey target report, and I can edit that report and it'll bring me right back to um, the, the same thing I was in. So you can kind of build it, you run it, it doesn't work. You can go back and, and you can, you know, you can, you can tinker with it and make sure you get it right basically. All right. So now I'm just going to close this down. I'm going to show you what this looks like. So I'll just show you a couple examples. Um, Creating it's pretty easy. I just showed the points. I didn't want to dive in. I didn't want to dive into each um, specific report and setting because there's just so much there. We could do hours and hours and hours, but it's meant to just show you how easy it can be, what some of the results look like, and I'll and leave it to you to kind of kind of tinker with on your own. But if we wanted to look at some of these reports, I'm just going to grab you know these four points here. You can see they all have little media files attached to them. And now if I go up to my reports. And I've, I've made my custom reports. I've saved them all. If I hit more reports, I just put FPI in front of everything just for frontier precision, just because it's easier for me to find. Um, but if I wanted to do my control points report and I hit OK, it's now going to run my report, open it up in Word. And here you can see I have it pull stuff from the project properties. I have my point name, my feature code, I have my grid coordinates kind of highlighted. Uh, a little darker and then I have my local and global um, values as well as the media files attached to those um, specific points. So this would be just a nice point for, or a nice report I should say for, you know, showing showing control points. Um, pretty, pretty easy. Uh, the other one I have is um, a detailed point report. So again, I'm just going to grab those four points. And just to kind of give you some ideas anyways, you can kind of tailor these however however you want them. These are just a few that I came up with, but if I go detailed point list, then this just gives me a running tab of my points. Um, again, northern easting elevation, local and global values just without the, without the images. So 
there's that one. And then I'll just grab the same four points and I'll do my, I'll do my grid points list. And then this is just basically your, your standard point list. The main thing I wanted is I just wanted to tinker with the colors a little bit and I wanted to, to brand it with the header. Um, another example, I'm just gonna switch over to another project here is a site calibration report. I like this report. I just thought it'd be fun to kind of tinker with it. There's a bunch of stuff on there that I didn't really think I needed and I just wanted to make a few things stand out a little bit more. So I'll show you an example of that. And that is our site calibration report. And it looks pretty standard. I just changed this a little bit on the top, added our header, made some things pop a little bit with some different colors, some, some bold letters, things like that. And then here's our residuals. I just kind of, I'm most interested in the, in the middle column. So I wanted to make that just stand out a little bit more. And that's that's about as basic as you can get. But again, it just gives it that extra little bit of, of flavor and, and, and branding. All right, so that's just a real quick breakdown of it. There's a lot to it. There's a lot of options and, and things. So um, you can certainly spend a lot of time uh, playing around in there. I just wanted to show you that it's, it's not scary. <laughs> I was wrong about it this whole time, um, admittedly so. But um, it's easy to make your own reports. The cool thing is, is um, once you have those Word documents, those template files set up, you can share those with anybody. All they have to do is put them in that report um, template uh, folder on your on your uh, C drive. So it's C program data Trimble report templates. Just uh, save it in there and then just go into create custom report, grab that layout file, give it a name and, and the work's already done. So it's very easy to share um, with everybody as well. So. Uh, just a quick little tip for you. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that helps me out and you find it interesting. And um, if there's more tips or more little things you want us to dive into or you have some questions or suggestions for videos, uh, drop us a message and we'll be happy to uh, look into it. Thanks and have a great day.